You put the detail into the uh, woodwork with the half rigger. So a nice strong mix of country olive, the middle green, and burnt umber. Put a dark line underneath the line on the roof. And on the lean-to at the back, still with the dark colour, start to paint in the woodwork. These lines don't have to be too precise. A nice sort of weakly nervous line, which is easily achieved by having a film crew in front of you. And while we've got that dark colour on the brush, just put in a little fence. on the edge of the field. Moving on to the fang off. Squeeze the water out of the brush. Dark colour. Country olive with some midnight green. Hold the brush upright. Hold the brush towards the end of the handle and you flick with your fingers. Just push the brush up for the grasses. Use the end of the brush to get some more texture. and just the bottom of the painting. Wash the brush out. In the cornfield, we use some raw sienna and burnt sienna, not too strong, and flick up to create that darker part of the cornfield, which is the standing corn. So it just adds a bit of texture in amongst the flowers. Then with the wizard and the colour shadow, not too strong, put that colour underneath the style. And also just at the bottom of the painting, so it links the dark colour on the right and the dark colour on the left. Allow the whole thing to dry. This is the, the fun bit, removing the masking fluid with clean, cleanish, dry hands. Rub your fingers over the paper. The masking fluid just peels off. If the paint is still wet, obviously it's going to smudge. Just make sure all of the masking fluid is off with the medium detail brush, raw sienna and sunlit green. put that light wash over the woodwork. Again, let the paint dry. Still with the medium detail brush, a darker mix of country olive and burnt umber. So fairly strong. The sunlight is coming from the right through to the left, so the shading goes on the left hand side of the fence posts. On the sign post. I'm just leaving a small light area on the top of that crossbar. A little bit of shade at the bottom of the, um, the post. Move on to the half rigger. Same colour, maybe a little bit uh, more burnt umber. Just paint in the, the wire on the fence. Still with the half rigger, dark green, add in a few extra grasses in the foreground, in amongst the flowers. So 
So you flick up with the half rigger for the grasses. This is the best bit, putting in the poppies. So, medium detail brush, cadmium red. Water it down, not too strong. Put a light wash into each flower head. Right, I'm just going to do half the flowers because the next stage needs to be painted in wet into wet. If you try to attempt the whole lot, you might run out of time and it'd be dry this end. So, while that's still wet, with a darker mix of the same colour, so cadmium red, drop that colour into the flower head so it just bleeds into the rest of the flower. So you get a two-tone effect rather than just a flat red disc. Back to a light colour. Okay, and then stronger mix of the same colour. Drop that dark colour into the, the wet. Then, when that's dry, use the colour shadow and just drop that colour into the centre of some of the flowers. When you finish the flowers, the last thing to do is remove the masking tape. And you tear it away from the painting. So if it tears the surface, it's going to tear away from your picture. And there we have a poppy field. Well, that looked easy, didn't it? Just a few simple techniques. If you follow these steps, step by step, you too could have a painting like this. now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. The DVD of today's workshop and the book that accompanies this series are now available to order from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.